god, yep, I remember this. Navigating through the pipes. I believe we're about to enter the prawn bay. Ugh. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep, this is the prawn bay. Okay, hold on. Oh god. Is there stuff in here I can scan? There used to be a flashlight on the ground in here somewhere. Is that it? No, that's not it. There used to be a flashlight in here on the ground somewhere. But perhaps they got rid of it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. But, yep. That was a thing. Fake black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Oh, well that's the thing I'm looking for, right? In the captain's quarters? Seek fluid intake. Oh god, okay. I have plenty of water, it's fine. Oh, goodness gravy. Okay, hold on. Maybe I can scan this. No, I already have a sign, idiot. Okay, let's hydrate. Vital signs stabilizing. I have another message, you people! Jesus, leave me alone! The only person on a on a freaking landmass planet thing. And everybody wants to be your friend! God! Oh thank god. Okay, I found a spare power cell. I can scan this though. This is the prawn suit. And it's freaking awesome. Mark three? Why did I, why is that Mark three and not Mark one or two? Strange. Okay, if I if I clear the fire out of this area, I can scan this one too. I remember this. I remember this. Aha! What time is it? Ooh, I need two more. Can I reach this one up here? If I get on this thing. Hey! <laughs> cool. I still need one more. Oh, that one. Okay, maybe I can scan that one. Beautiful. Okay. Nope, nope, I saw it. You can't bullshit me. I saw the scan thing. There you go. <laughs> um. Pa pardon you. Pardon you! Thank you. God, I was worried that there was a bug. New blueprint acquired. Okay, now we can craft the prawn suit, except... Wait, can we? Y you can craft the prawn suit in the mobile vehicle bay, right? I can craft a prawn suit! I kind of want to find the grapple arm first, because God, is that thing fun. Well, I'm at 14%. I might want to... I mean, there's got to be more than one fire extinguisher on this freaking thing, right? But... Uh, I don't know where I'm going, but I guess we'll go down here. Ah, the storage room. The locker room. Whatever, I remember this. Oh, frame rate dipped a little bit there, but that's okay. Thank God, I will take all of these. I'm saving so much copper by doing this. Sweet officer. Integrating new PDA data. Read that once I, you know, am in a place where I can breathe. Uh, is there something here as well? Yeah. Auxiliary mission orders. Yeah, let's find out what we were doing here. Like, why were we out here in the first place? I don't think- I don't think this planet was our primary destination. Like, we were just- we were slingshotting around it in orbit. And that turned out to be a very big mistake. From Huggins to Wilson. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside? Well now, you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. <laughs> We've plain got nothing to do till we get star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars, you've only got to say. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically aug augmented hands. <laughs> want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one. Code's 1869. That's another code. Oh my god. There it is. Search and rescue. Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degasi. That's right! A Mongolian vessel, the Degasi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high-ranking Mongolian chief. 
Corporate Insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for Emissary Kassar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B Category 3 Ocean Planet approximately 13 months post-launch. So we were out in space for a year. Over a year. That's crazy. This will bring the ship within range of the Degasi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the, in the Aurora's cargo passage for this mission. Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Yeah, so we were out here looking for the Degasi. Oh, no, not you! Oh, I hate these guys so much! How did I get here? Oh, I swam from below. Maybe I should have my, uh... thing equipped. Little fucking bitch, where'd you go? I hate these things so much. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. What? Stop. No, I don't care about Facebook right now. No! Fuck off, bleeder! I want to fucking kill you! Die! 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 Do not grab onto my arm. Die. Are you dead? Fuck you. Fuck your friend! Ha! You're gonna grab it onto me today. Dive room, drive room, sea moth bay. I think the drive room is where I need to go. But I'm gonna check out the sea moth bay as well. I have been to the sea moth bay in the past. I can't see. But, uh. Oh. Oh, shit! Uh, another bleeder. Hold on. Oh, sea moth bay is further through there. I can repair this. I can repair this with this. Nope, that way. Nope. Oh god. Whoa, that propels me through the water. <laughs> I've never I've never used a fire extinguisher in the water before. That's cool. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe I want my flashlight out too. Fire extinguisher is about to die anyway. Here we go. Please tell me there's like modifications in here. I have sea moth fragments, don't need that. Depth module. Mark one. Is that what the is that what the pressure compensators are called now? Depth module. Cool. Drive rooms this way. The drive caution uh, sustained internal damage during collision. No shit. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. That is not an option, woman. Oh god. Oh god. I need another fire extinguisher. Oh god, please tell me I can find one in here somewhere. Dude, the fire's got sound effects now too. This is so cool! The game feels so finished! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm just looking for a fire extinguisher at this point. Living quarters, that's right. I've been in here before. Supply. Uh, what do we got in here? More water. I will take that, absolutely. Thank you. I am running low on water. I've been out here a long time. Ah, nutrient block. Excellent. <gasps> so many nutrient blocks. Oh, of course, there's one on the other side of the room that's on fire. God, don't catch me on fire, please. Oh, jeez. Fuck, okay. And the other thing, the poster. <laughs> you can put those up in your base, and they're so freaking cool. Oh, wait, no, this is this is the kitchen. This is Ozzy's room. Space bear v... Who? What? What is that? Microscopic tardigrades, or space bears, have adapted and flourished where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long-haul space flights. That's, that's wild. Ah, hey, new chair! Command chair. I think that's the chair for me. New blueprint acquired. I can have a counter. I don't really think I need one, but I'll take it. Fuck it. What? New blueprint 
Quiet. What? I could scan something. Single wall shelf. Oh, that's right! Nailed it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the code rooms, so I don't think I want to be here just yet. We're going to go back and clear the way to clear the do the radiation thing. That's what we're going to do right now. So, BRB! Alright, we found a fire extinguisher, thank god. Oh god, don't burn me. You die so quick when you're on fire in this game. It's like not even funny. Okay, we made it. We're in. Uh, okay. I think I need the repair tool for this. What's this? Cyclops Warning. engine efficiency Lethal module. Radiation at maximum tolerable level. Well, that's, uh, not... Yeah, you need to go find uh, a bunch of these. Containment breach repaired. Yeah. Further breaches detected. We need a lot. But it's a good thing I found a shit ton of batteries. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Need nine more. And there's also the freaking bleeders down here. I remember those motherfuckers. In fact, uh, you know what? I've just decided I'm gonna have my knife equipped for when I'm down here. There. Okay. Repair tool. Let's do this. So we're repairing the nuclear reactor right now. <laughs> so radiation stops leaking from the ship. We won't need to wear a rad suit anymore after a couple of in-game days. Uh, following the repairal, repairal, because that's a word, of what? Repair the damn thing. Come on now. Oh, God, no, I don't want you. Jesus Christ. That's why I hate the bleeders. <laughs> Need I say more? Four, three, two, one. Ah, you fucking shit! Earth below us. Extinction event avoided. Well, that's good. Is that even possible to not avoid? Radiation levels decreasing. We did it! Radiation levels decreasing. look at that trophy though honestly let's go look at the trophies i hope these are all hidden so they don't uh give away anything repair the aurora reactor okay is it possible to not do that and then it just kind of explodes and we die <laughs> i don't know probably not but yeah we fixed it it usually says a thing like, radiation will return to normal levels in three days, ten hours, or something like that, but that didn't happen this time. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the prawn room, which is this way, and we're gonna, uh, breathe a little bit. We're gonna put in those door codes to see what we can find, because that is brand new territory for me. Buddy. Oh, I found beds! You can put a bed in your base and sleep. And I don't exactly know how that benefits us, but we can do it. <laughs> New acquired. Hello? Yep, there's a single bed, there's a double bed somewhere too, but... <laughs> Integrating I think I remember this data. one, actually. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. Hey, the guy from the other thing we read. Feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <laughs> I was not expecting two female voices for that, honestly. But I do remember that. Like, I, would, I want to change our contact hours. Okay, but how much? Oh, to zero. <laughs> You're dumping me? I remember that. I remember reading that and being like, haha, that's funny. Let's get into cabin seven and see what we can find. Oh god, I'm on fire. Ow. 
Thank you. Okay. Maybe I want to use a med kit just because. Got it. Okay. I will take that. Another PDA? My goodness. Oh, right. I scanned the infected crab on the island, I think. The organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. Oh, sweet. So I was fucked the second I... The second I stepped out of my life pod, I was fucked. That sucks. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. The bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. May be contagious. Avoid. Little late for that, thanks. Do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. I mean, I breathed it in the second I... Yeah, that's just... I mean, if it's waterborne and it can be brought in through the respiratory system, I guess that... I can't breathe underwater, bruh, so can it... If it's waterborne, maybe only fish can breathe it in. I don't know. But either way, I'm just... That's not even worth bringing with me. Check in here first. I don't need that. I have a I have a med kit fabricator in my base now. I don't need to take this many med kits. I will take that, however. No! No! Okay. And then I'm gonna eat something. I'll eat that. I will take all of the nutrient blocks always. Hey, another poster! Uh, let's see. This is cabin one. Is this the captain's cabin, or is this the other one? 1869. Ooh. One, eight, eh, six, nine. This is all brand spanking new to me, guys. I've never had to use another code before. It looks just kind of like a normal room for now, but I got the code. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Hey! Yeah, blueprint acquired. I think that's a plush toy of a character from one of Unknown World's other games. I'm relatively certain. But I could be wrong. I think that's what that's from, though. It's pretty cool. Oh, the baseball cap is there on the on the counter too. I'll take it, sure. Blueprint acquired. Responsible autonomous relationships. Oh, is that what that was? PDA data. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. How come I can't... Oh, I guess that's the end of it. Okay. I don't really like the idea of using business as an analogy for personal relationships. Do you know what they say? Never mix business with pleasure, am I right? Is that safe? I don't think that's safe. I'm a little scared to go through there. Hold on, I'm gonna save. Ah! Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Can't go in cabin two. Here's the captain's quarters. What was his code again? 2679. Dude, we're going in the captain's quarters right now. I, uh, I don't know what to expect in here, besides the black box thing that guy mentioned. Oops. Yep, I did that wrong. I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> Two. Six. This is a little hard to do with the controller. Seven. Nine. There we go. Ooh, that's a new poster! I've never seen that one before! That's fancy! What's this? Integrating new PDA data. Neptune escape rocket? What is that? Aurora miniature! Oh, there's this new stuff in here! There it is. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening us to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Six minutes Aurora before the crash. Is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data 
Please respond with rescue solution. Out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Hmm. Eight hours after they sent the distress signal, they got back to us. With plans for another rocket? Is that what that was? Neptune escape rocket. Look at that thing! This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. What? It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. Well, good thing we've got ion cubes that are... You know, the equivalent of how many frickin' millitons of TNT or whatever it was. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform, gantry, stage one, stage two, wait, primary thrusters, fuel reserve, cockpit. Okay. One person life support, lucky I'm the only one on this island, short, planet, short range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected, like infected body or, you know, a giant gun that'll shoot me down the second I try to get off of this thing. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. That is so cool. I have never seen this before. We're gonna build a brand new rocket and get off this thing. Can I get to work on that, like, now? I won't be able to go anywhere with it. But, oh my god. Why am I still hanging on to the dead one? Get the fuck out of my inventory. Thank you. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. So, we have to cure ourselves of the virus somehow. And then we have to go back to the enforcement platform to lift the quarantine. Oh god. And then... And then we can go. Wait. Craig McGill simulator? I know who Craig McGill is. One player. Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Boreal 9, resources normal. You are experiencing a quiet alien backwater. When the ship you arrived here in implodes, it must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what do you do? Search the crash site. He chose to farm alien plants. Why? This is just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially probable- f He was playing a game when this happened? Which will you sustain yourself with? Starwall eggs. Starwall? That's another game. Interesting. <laughs> well, the Starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm, and besides, their mother is extremely angry at you. Apologize to the Starwall? Accept your fate! What? Craig McGill knows there's no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated. Cool. The atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in service of the Star Wars continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. <laughs> you die. Why? Accept your fate? <laughs> Come on now. That's, that's foreboding though. Okay. Wow, we found the things to a freaking rocket? That's insane! I'm gonna start building that, like, as quickly as I possibly can. I need to find all the, the things for it. But maybe they're out in the world now. Because I did a thing. I think I've searched everywhere. So we can go back to the Seamoth, put in my pressure compensator, and maybe we can finally go down into the Jelly's Room Caves and do a thing. Because I've got, like, 40 minutes before I gotta stop playing. <laughs>